prisoners are asking for food, Lord Voltrex. Let them starve, worthless humans. Yeah, worthless humans. I wish I was an alien like you. Hey, and you can be too, once our spaceship is completed. I can't wait to journey to your homeland. Speaking of which, uh, Earthlings, what is the progress of my light fast spacing ship? Um, well, Lord Voltrax, we're having a little trouble making it fly. What did you just say to me? Well, we, we only have five cardboard boxes and some tape. I mean, shouldn't we have an engine or something? No, 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 no. This must work. This has to work if we are to get to planet Vailot. Do you doubt me? Of course not, Lord Voltrex. We'll, we'll work twice as fast. Good. Very good. <laughs> So you all knew there was an experiment happening? I wasn't sure. Don't lie. Yeah, we all knew. I'm surprised Victor's been able to wield his power for so long. Yeah. Hey, why do you guys even listen to Victor? His name is Lord Voltrex, Emperor of Zaylot. You really believe he's an alien overlord? Have you seen his face? He's not exactly human. That's a mask. And if you untied us, I could prove it to you. Hold your tongue, human slime. Soon, our spaceship will be complete, and we'll be well on our way to Zaylot, leaving you mortals here to rot. This is a classic stage four cult. By now, there is total buy-in. <coughs> okay, this is getting out of hand. We have to get out of here and stop Victor, like, quick. Anything. This is just rope. Well, I never do anything right. Clay, are you alright? What's going on with you? <laughs> you weren't tied up? Mm -hmm. Huh. I guess they forgot about me. <laughs> okay, untie the rest of us so we can get out of here. I did it! <laughs> yes, yes. And can you probably add some window sills on this too, so that when they're in space I can bring my succulents and, and they can get some sun? <laughs> Bullshit, Lord Voltrex. Or whatever your real name is. And the Oreos weren't gluten free! Great. Are you happy that you ruined my life? 
Fuck you, Victor. You had us tied up. I was tackled twice. Okay, I am very sorry about that. But what did you expect me to do? I didn't have choice. I had to save the experiment. Victor, you weren't trying to save the experiment. You saw the opportunity to be the king of this tiny kingdom and you took it. What a way to go out. Wait. Wait, do you think that maybe I'm, I'm kind of like a king? Yeah, they totally love you. I'm gonna miss this place. Yeah, you know what? It was kind of fun while it lasted. <laughs> and kind of interesting. You were like a cult leader or something. That could have been its own experiment. Wait. Rewind the tape. What did you just say? Said that you were like a cult leader. No, no. So. Oh, no. The part after about like it being like a spearmint? Oh my god. Wait. No, no, no. Here we go. Here we go. Brain blast. This is going to be the legit experiment. How to start a cult. I knew you were going to save me, little magic child. This is great. Oh my goodness. This is perfect. Okay. We're going to start writing this ASAP pronto, get it published, save the lab, save the world. Here we go! No, it's 4 a.m. We can do this tomorrow. Okay, Deb. Hey, Marissa, where are you going? Can you have breakfast? Want to come? Yeah, okay, it's great. <laughs> oh, wait, hold up, little love squirrels. Come squirreling back. Let's do a group hug. Come on, I think we can all say this experiment was major success. Come on. Group hug now! Let's go! Come on! Let's Come on! Hug it out, please. Here we go. Arms up, and we hug. Okay. I head hurts. Hey, bro. Don't report us. 